This is the so solution video for section 1.4, problem number 9. So in this section, it says express each of the following limits as infinity, negative infinity, or does not exist. Use A to C to evaluate the limits. So what are we doing? We're evaluating the limit as x approaches A from the left, the limit as x approaches A from the right, and the limit as x approaches A overall. All right, so in this case, for number 9, A is equal to negative 1. So we want to evaluate the limit as x approaches negative 1 from the left of f of x, the limit as x approaches negative 1 from the right of f of x, and then lastly, the overall limit as x approaches negative 1 of f of x. All right, so the first one, limit as x approaches negative 1 from the left. Well, the first thing we would want to do is we would want to evaluate the function at negative 1. So we get 2 times negative 1 squared divided by negative 1 squared minus negative 1 minus 2. 2 times negative 1 squared, that would be positive 2, divided by negative 2 squared is 4. Excuse me, I'm sorry, that should be negative 1 squared. Negative 1 squared is positive 1 plus 1, minus 2 is, of course, 0. So we get non-zero over 0, which does tell us that our uh, limits are going to be either positive or negative infinity. So now we need to examine in a one-sided setting to determine which is which. Now, if we are evaluating negative 1 from the left, okay, the numerator, 2 times negative 1 squared, is still going to be approaching 2. It doesn't matter from the left or from the right because it's like, 1.9 or 2.1, those are both positive numbers, so that doesn't really matter. But now, the denominator. Okay, the denominator is problematic because if I were to evaluate negative 1 from the left, I'm still going to get 0, but it's hard to tell which way I'm approaching 0 from. So what we want to do is we actually want to factor the denominator. It factors into x minus 2 times x plus 1. So now if I do that, I'm plugging negative 1 from the left in for x, so I get negative 1 from the left minus 2, and negative 1 from the left plus 1. All right, so now the denominator. Negative 1 uh, minus 2 is negative 3. doesn't matter if we're approaching from the left or from the right because that's a negative number on either side. So now negative 3 times negative 1 from the left plus 1. What is the number to the left of negative 1? How about negative 2? Negative 2 plus 1 is negative. Therefore, we are approaching 0 from the negatives. And so that means I have 2 divided by, well, negative 3 times 0 from the negatives. That's a negative times a negative. That means we're approaching 0 from the positive, And thus, the limit as x approaches negative 1 from the left is positive infinity. Now, in the same way, we can plug in negative 1 from the right. So I get negative, uh, 2 times negative 1 squared. Of course, the numerator approaches 2. Denominator, negative 1 from the right minus 2 times negative 1 from the right plus 1. All right, negative 1 from the right minus 2. Well, that's like negative 1 minus 2. We're still approaching negative 3. doesn't matter if it's from the left or from the right because all the numbers close to negative 3 on the left and the right are negative. Now, what about this? Negative 1 from the right plus 1. What's the number to the right of negative 1? How about 0? 0 plus 1 is a positive, so we're approaching 0 from the positives. And so... 2 divided by negative 3 times 0 from the positives. Well, a negative times a positive is a negative, and so we're approaching 0 from the negatives, which means we're approaching negative infinity. Now, the overall limit. Well, of course, these two things are not equal, so the only thing we could say here is does not exist.